Hey guys, my name is Caitlin Reagan. I am from Brooklyn, New York, and this is my first official YouTube video. It's gonna be a quick video, 30 facts about me, not the Instagram me, but the real me. Get to know me, hear my story. Here we go. Chocolate ice cream. I have an obsession with French onion soup. I don't know why, but anyway, if you put any type of soup in front of me, I'm definitely gonna eat it. I love soup. Every single time I go home to New York, my mom refers to me on Facebook as the tornado. It's because I am high key a mess. I literally take my clothes and just throw, throw, throw. Do not put in the drawers for shit. When I was younger, I had a obsession with iCarly. So I took it upon myself with my girl, Marisa, to make the girls talk show. So on YouTube, which is still up, um, there's just a whole bunch of videos of us pretending that we're Sam. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so that's Caitlin. That's Marisa. And this is our talk show. Our girls talk show. I've come a long way. It's not a fun fact, but it's a fact. Um, my relationship with my father isn't the best. He's not always around. He's cheap. But, uh, He's my father, so yeah, I can't. When I was 15, I was randomly picked to be Justin Bieber's One Less Only Girl at Barclay Center. When I eat pretzels, which is my favorite snack, I have to suck the salt off the pretzel before eating the pretzel or else I will not like the pretzel. When I go out, I always pretend that I know the lyrics to every song that I hear. Started from the... I am pretty sure I can eat more than a man. I was on a dance team for 16 years and I was on a competition team for eight. I almost got fired from Buffalo Wild Wings because I was trying to eat the wings off the person's tray before giving it to them. By the way, 31 facts, I love Buffalo Wild Wings. This fact about me is very strange. I have an obsession with curling the side of any type of book that I see. When I was in school, like, and I'm still in school, I used to get in trouble by teachers because the sound of the curling of the pages would literally be distracting. I love the gym because I think it's beautiful that a girl, a person, a human being can create their own body. And I'm just trying to live my life, you know? Have a long life, eh. I have two fake teeth. These chicklets are right here. <laughs> I love to throw parties, okay. That one was the easy. I noticed that I have this problem where if I have a friend that's A and I have a friend that's B, A could be the best friend in the whole entire world and she would probably jump in front of the bus for me. And then there's B, who is the one that goes out and parties and does everything and I just want to always be with B because she's fun. But at the same time, I kind of forget about A and I prioritize the wrong people and that's something that I really want to work on. My mom and grandma raised me, kind of like Timothy in the Bible. I consider my friends family, and all you guys that are now watching this are family too. For my eighth grade prom, my hair looked like a poodle. My biggest fear is to disappoint my Mina. I love you, Grandma. I went to a performing arts school my whole life. I go to college in Florida, and I live in Brooklyn. Where Brooklyn at? I care way too much about what other people think about me, but don't we all? But that's something I'm really trying to work on. My brother is my hero, my brother is my best friend, and sometimes I really miss him. <clears throat> because I grew up as an only child, I used to get so many Christmas gifts, and it was great. I mean, what well, kid doesn't love Christmas gifts, but when I opened them up in the morning, it was amazing, but I always wondered what it was like to open up gifts with a whole family, cousins, and um, My brother so sometimes I think that the best gift would be just a big family it's so hard to talk about when I was younger there was this one weekend where me and my dad were supposed to have a daughter daddy weekend and I was extremely excited for it I remember just kind of staring out my window for him to show up Waiting and waiting and waiting. And he never showed up.
and I never knew why. But to this day, that is still considered the worst day of my life. And sometimes I really, really wonder what I would have been or where I would have been if I had like somebody to just push me and tell me that I could do it. I felt like I never really had that motivation. I love my haters, they are my biggest fans. But at the same time, some of the things that they say definitely does hurt me. But at the same time, love hurts. Okay. <clears throat> When I first started on social media, all I ever wanted was a huge following. I wanted everybody to follow me. I wanted attention. I was definitely an attention snob. And having that now, I realize there's so much more that you can do with that. My desire for attention is no longer there. It's to really like inspire people and give them a person to relate to. I mean, everybody relates to somebody, so I hope that I can be at least that somebody to somebody else. That was not English. I just want to thank every single person who even took the time out to watch this whole video and hear my story. I made this YouTube channel because I want you guys to follow me on my journey from when I was here to hopefully one day when I will be a film actress on the big screen. I mean, I, I, mean, I made it to tiny screen. Hopefully I can make it to the big. Um, I want you guys to leave comments because this isn't just about me, it's about you guys. Tell me your story. You heard mine. Let me hear yours. Subscribe, leave comments. Thank you so much for watching.